Hello everyone. Um, I'm sitting in the parking lot at work and it's supposed to start snowing pretty soon. So, but I'm headed home and I just wanted to share with you my day. I'm sorry, my hair is really flat. I've been wearing a hat all day cause it's kind of cold. So it looks kind of weird. Um, it's growing pretty fast. Look at how long it is and it's kind of curling up. So I have all these little curls that come up like that. It's kind of cool. Anyways, um, as you may or may not have seen, I was at the Huntsman Center today because it was my first uh, follow-up mammogram. And to say that it was emotional is an understatement. Um, the reason why I uh, was overly emotional about it is because um, last week I felt another lump. Uh, kind of close to where the surgery was so I was freaking out like no other um, thinking that it came back so this morning I was high on anxiety and um, really nervous that they were gonna tell me that the cancer came back and you know I was already thinking what am I gonna do how am I gonna deal with this and super emotional so I went and got my mammogram at the Huntsman Center here in Utah and it's it was packed the place was completely plat packed there was people everywhere um, I had to wait when I went to go do my mammogram the waiting room was completely filled and it's just really sad it's really sad that we have to deal with this and it sucks um, there was a couple of people who were just being diagnosed and um, they were upset and crying and I totally get it and I shared my story with them and reassured them that they um, they could go through it they could do it and it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be tough but they'll survive just like I did and I was trying to convince myself of the same thing just in case you know I was told again that it came back um, so I cried pretty much all morning this morning. So I went and got my mammogram. I told them about the lump that I've been feeling and they took pictures and then made me go back into the room to wait for uh, an ultrasound. Um, so I went, I, gosh, I was there for maybe 45 minutes waiting in between. So during that time, meeting more women and sharing my story, them sharing their story, um, couple of women in there just found out they had breast cancer so they were um, crying high in anxiety all that good stuff so finally is my turn to go get the ultrasound and um, of course I was in tears because I'm a big fat baby <laughs> I cry all the time um, and I went and I told them you know what was going on and they looked through the ultrasound and guess what I'm so happy to say that it's just um, fluid, a buildup of fluid from the surgery um, that's there. And so I was like, so you're telling me it's not cancer, right? And she said, no, it's not cancer. And so I gave her a hug and said I was really happy to hear that and relieved. And I cried again <laughs> because I was so happy that um, it wasn't what I thought it was. And it wasn't what I feared. So I think... I think it was an eye-opener for me because since I finished radiation, I've been on high alert, um, worried that it's going to come back and just really focusing on it too much than I should. And so this was kind of an eye-opener for me to remind me that, sure, it could come back and there's nothing I can do about it, but I'm still going to fight and I'll get through it and I just need to live my life so that's what I'm gonna do just live my life I'm not gonna stress about it um, I'm not gonna let it consume me anymore so that's what I'll do for now on so I wanted to share with you that um, I'm officially I guess I was officially before but I'm officially officially cancer free the lump that I felt isn't cancer and I will go in next week, maybe. She said I didn't really have to, but I scheduled an appointment next week to go and have it drained, which is kind of gross, but I may or may not do it. I probably will. Who knows?
I have that option and it's not cancer. So <sighs> you guys have no idea how relieved I was. So wanted to share that with you. Um, I will be celebrating tonight. Um, at work today, I gave a lot of high fives saying, yay, I'm cancer free. High five. Um, cause I was super excited. Um, I don't think anybody really knew how scared I was this morning when I went. So, but that's okay. I'm officially cancer free. We're going to celebrate. Um, and we're going to have a bye Felicia party and I'm going to get a piñata that is going to represent Felicia and we're going to beat the heck out of it. So I'm excited about that. And we're going to have a nacho party, which is good. So new outlook on life. Um, I'm going to celebrate more. I'm going to do the things I enjoy more. I'm not going to stress out, which I'm sure I will, but I'm going to try really hard not to. Um, I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Right? I also want you guys, if you haven't already, you ladies out there, um, don't forget to get your mammogram, get checked. Check yourself. Have your husbands check you. Um, men have your wives um, checked. Remind them. It's very important. If I never had the mammogram a year ago, um, who knows where I would have been right now. So it pretty much saved my life. And I wanted to save yours, and I would never, ever, ever want any of you to go through, you know, what I've gone through, or, you know, any other breast cancer survivor, cancer survivor in general. It just, cancer just totally sucks. Sucks so bad, and I can't say that enough. All right. So that is the latest and greatest. Um, I'm getting better, and uh, mentally I'm getting better after today. And, um, I will keep you posted if anything else comes up. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a, a track of my hair. See how it's coming in. It's, it's fine. It doesn't look very good right now because I had the hat on. But, um, maybe that's, will be my next updates from here on out. All right. Hope you all have a great night. High five to you. Woo, woo, woo. High five to everybody. I'm doing that to everyone. Um, cancer free. Woo, woo. Bye. Love you all.